So right now, my final question for you is in terms of how to stay positive during job search. We know that uh, finding a job is a full-time job and sometimes is exhausting, a lot of rejection. And after a while, when you nothing is working, you start doubting yourself, what's happening? What's wrong with me? So what tips do you have to people to stay positive? Now, that's a great question. Inevitably, you're mm -hmm. going to be disappointed because... Uh, recruiters are selecting for thousands of jobs. Yeah. They don't have time. So uh, it's silly because people say this, don't take personally. But the reality is, see as a business transaction. Yeah. The volume that somebody's receiving is not going to allow them to personalize the response to you. Yeah. So it's very often the case that you apply for jobs, you never hear anything. Mm -hmm. um, so be comfortable with that because the idea is, your action, focus on your action. Your action is to put out there your desire to add value. That's what you need to be mm -hmm. comfortable with. Now, to gain co confidence in times of so much turmoil, it's very hard. So you do need friends. You do need somebody that you can trust. You can just chat. Sometimes it's good just to have somebody there to listen to how you're going to propose an interview to go it's important that you have support system. But I tell you, confidence, and this is important. Confidence is not about having the knowledge or have to be at the top of your game. That's not confidence. Mm -hmm. Confidence comes from your belief, your belief that you can learn, your belief that you are capable of ch changing. is your belief of being able to meet the challenge of the workforce. Because there are a lot of challenge ahead and i think you you have to prepare yourself to support in our previous video we, we talked about skills resume so in your mm -hmm. opinion uh what are some of the skills that's required in 2023 i think there are basic skills that we need to nurture ourselves for example i truly believe now people talk about soft skills but it's not soft skills mm. it's power skills what are the power skills of the future for anybody entering the workforce? Mm -hmm. Sharing. Believe that sharing is a skill for you to gain trust of others. Mm -hmm. to really start contributing to the environment you are in. Because what I'm seeing is that when you start holding back because you prefer to hold to become more relevant, because mm -hmm. if others know what you know, you, yeah. you, you lose value. That's not true. When people see that you're contributing, people come back to you. So yeah. don't forget, sharing is the power skill of the future. The other thing that I'm writing a book about, is actually, is entering the workforce is one thing, but actually learning how to team up and lead and self-manage teams, because that's the future, yeah. is about leadership. So I would say, even if you're not leading anyone, you're just entering the workforce, you need to focus on leadership skills because that's going to be very important. And the last is self-management. We mm -hmm. all have emotional reactions to others and it's not easy. Not sure. So self-management, understand how you react to things and start having that pause between reaction and response. That's a skill of the future and it's going to take you much farther. Thank you for those great tips. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you these questions, very practical, very direct tips. And for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. Again, Wagner, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone.